Can you believe it's been 20 years since Audi introduced the original TT to industry accolades? Well, now it's 2016 and it's time for an all new one. Price as we have it here, looking at $50,600. So does this new Audi bring back that TT mojo? Well, I'd say from the outside, I, yeah, yeah, it's looking pretty good, but it's what's inside that'll really grab you. So under this beautifully crafted hood is a two liter turbocharged motor, puts out 220 horsepower, 258 pound feet of torque. It's connected through a six speed S-Tronic automatic transmission and it powers all four wheels using Audi's own Quattro all-wheel drive system. Now, as configured here, you're looking at EPA ratings of 30 miles to the gallon on the freeway, 23 around town. One thing I love about coupe styling is that the trunk is so useful. Flip up the clamshell and you have an easy place to put your stuff. Need more room? You fold down the second row and it is just a huge amount of space, considering how small this car is. Voila. So here we are inside the 2016 Audi TT. And instantly, you can tell this is something different. Very different. It kind of really has a concept car feel because it doesn't have all of the traditional things you would expect in a luxury car. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Okay, no, no display popping up or anything. That is because the main display is right there. Now, regardless of what screen I'm in, I always have a tack on the left and a speedometer on the right. That never changes. But I can change the background to be a number of different functions. Uh, first off, we have a navigation screen, which is great, but where do you put in the information as to where you want to go? I mean, there's no keypad, it's not a touch screen. Ah, that's where this car is even more clever. Hit the menu button, go to navigation, and now, instead of punching it up here, I actually just write star S T A R Starbucks, right there, boom. That is like one of the quickest searches I've ever done. And then it changes the display and the metal console here to show me exactly where I need to drive to. I really feel like I'm driving something out of the future with this car. I mean, everything from the just amazing central gauge cluster, the multifunction information in there, to this really like deep dish steering wheel with this beautiful leather trim, all of the metal work, I mean, and then look at like the air con. Where's the air con? Well, it's not down here controlling these things. It's actually on the things that you're controlling. Um, we have these little things where I can just flick and I can change like from 71, 72, 73. I can change it from being different zones. I can point it in a different direction. I can shut the vent off. I love it. Even the heated seat, it's on one of my vents over here on the left. This is the only transmission you can get in this car here in North America. It has multiple modes such as drive, flick it over there and go into manual, go back to drive, flick it down one more time and we get it in sport. Sport obviously will give a much more aggressive nature to the automatic transmission as I'm accelerating, decelerating, all that stuff. Uh, this is also a really neat thing. When I go into reverse, my center gauge cluster becomes my backup camera and my radar. And unlike many other cars, the backup display is almost as clear at night as it is during the day. Very often the cameras aren't very good at night, but this one, very good. So you do of course have a number of drive modes. You can select them down here with the drive select button, or you can do it up here on the steering wheel with this little asterisk button. Okay, well enough talking about the car, let's take it out on the road. There are currently a lot of great sport coupes on the market. There's the Nissan 370Z and Lexus RC. 
both which are roughly the same price as a base trim 2016 TT. Load up and you're nipping at the heels of the more expensive BMW Z4 and Porsche Cayman, whereas previous TTs really didn't stand a chance against such refined company. This third generation model is something completely different. It drives much more like an entry-level R8 supercar than it does a hopped up Volkswagen Golf. Much of its newfound prowess is thanks to the lightweight chassis, which now tips the scales at just over 3,000 pounds. The rest comes down to German wizardry applied to the steering rack, springs, dampers, and drivetrain. Though it's still fun with the drive mode selected to either comfort or auto, dynamic is where it's at. Flick the switch and the all-wheel drive power shifts predominantly to the rear wheels. The steering rack firms up and the TT carves up the turns like a genuine sports car. At higher speeds, the rear wing even deploys to improve downforce. With this 2016 TT, Audi has, much to my surprise, crafted a car that melds driving and technology unlike any other. It frankly makes every other sport coupe on the market look clumsy by comparison. To learn more about the 2016 Audi lineup, visit AutoNation.com. I'm your host, Ryan Douthit. Thanks for watching.